we started Coastal Waste back in November of 2017, and the vision was really to start a company within the three counties of Southeast Florida where we could differentiate ourselves by creating sustainable solutions around recycling and waste collection. Sustainability has always been important to Coastal. That's the core of everything we do. And so when we had an opportunity to bring an electric excavator into the fleet, it seemed to be a no-brainer. And one of the challenges we face in our MRFs, in particular, is our highly dusty, warm, hot environments where you know conventional internal combustion engines can create a lot of heat and cause challenges. And so when we first heard about the electric excavator, I raised my hand first and said, hey, can we try this thing out? And that's really where it, where it started. We've been working with Volvo since the very beginning of Coastal, which is a little over six years now. And uh, really ever since we bought Volvo exclusively for all of our new purchases and it's been a great relationship. Our core values with Volvo perfectly aligns with the core values and where Coastal Waste and Recycling is heading. So this EC230 journey and the pilot we're doing uh, has been a perfect match from day one. Major reasons why we're doing this down in Florida with Coastal is because the majority of their fleet is the EC220E. So it's been an easy sort of uh, segue from the diesel equivalent to not go into the uh, EC230 fully electric. We're running the machine approximately eight hours a day, Monday through Friday. Uh, at that facility, we process and recycle construction and demolition debris. And we also process uh, green waste or vegetation that we're shredding through a grinder. Um, the machine's been working great for us. The operator's feedback has been uh, that the machine operates extremely similarly to the diesel units, just with a slight different feel sitting in the seat. So the typical workday with the electrical machine uh, is firing it up at 6.30 in the morning for our first shift and shutting it down for a charge at about 9.30, 10 o'clock. Uh, we charge it for about two to three hours and then we fire it up again later in the day and we take it over to our vegetation processing area and run it again for another three to four hours. For our construction and demolition processing, once the machine is sitting on the hill, it doesn't stop moving. We're feeding uh, a throughput of approximately 100 tons an hour, and uh, this machine throws perfectly. Coastal was started based on sustainability, recycling, and so when we think about the future, we think about technology, I think it's just really obvious, to be honest with you. Electric vehicles are obviously you know, hitting the ground hard on the uh, passenger vehicle side, and I think they're coming on both the construction equipment side as well as the truck side. So th the way we think about it is get in early, understand the product so that when it, it really hits the ground hard that we're going to be prepared for it, both on the operating side as well as the maintenance side.